Hi, hello everybody. Welcome to Vinny's Edo World. We are doing the third part of playing with numbers. And today we will be discussing the divisibility rules of number 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. I hope you will definitely enjoy it. Let's go. Let's start with number 7. To find out if a number is divisible by 7 or not, there are only two steps. Okay, so let us understand that with the help of an example. So, I am taking a number 3, 6, 4. So, what am I going to do? First, I need to take the number digit at units place or ones place as you say it. I took it out. Okay. Then what is the next step? I need to double it. If I double 4, how much am I getting? 8. Right? Now the next step is to subtract this 8 from rest of the number. So here what is balance? 36. I will say 36 minus 8. 36 minus 8 is 28. Is 28 a multiple of 7? Yes. 7 into 4 is 28. So what is the result? That means 364 is divisible by 7. Okay. So we understood it little bit. Now let's do one more question and try to understand it much better. So we are going to take another number 2023. One more digit increased. So let us see in ones place what is the number 3. I took it out. 3 into 2 doubling that number. How much do I get? 6. Right? So what, are, what is the number which is left now? 202. Correct. So what should I do? 202 minus 6. If we subtract 202, uh, 6 from 202, how much we will get? 196. Do we know if 196 is divisible by 7? Instead of dividing, we can just redo. Let's take this number, which is the last digit, 6. Let's go ahead and double it. How much did I get? 12. Subtract it from 19. 19 minus 12 is how much? 7. 7 is a multiple of 7. Done? Understood? Good. So this is the way how we will find out if a number is divisible by 7 or not. So what is it? First, find out the digit at 1's place. First step, digit at one's place okay and after that what will you do double it exactly you will go ahead and double that number then subtract it from the remaining number only these three steps and you are done you will know if a number is divisible by 7 or not. However big a number is. Okay. Now we will go ahead and find out the divisibility rule for number 8. You remember we did the divisibility rule for number 4. What did we do? We found out the digits at 10's place and 1's place. Isn't it? So for number 8 what will we do? We will look at the digits which are at hundreds, tens and ones. Okay, let us do that. 3, 4, 2, 0, 2, 4. So last three places, which number is formed? 24. Is 24 divisible by 8? 8 into 3 is? 24. 
however big the number is if you know this tricks you can easily find out if you can divide a number by 8 or not right this will help you a lot when you do simplification now the next number let us uh, just to understand we will do one more 1 8 4 7 7 8 what do you think is it divisible by 8 I will take last three digits which number is formed 778 is this uh, divisible by 8 how will I know let me just try to divide it by 8 8 9s are 72 7 minus 2 is 5 get down 8 then 8 7s are 56 remainder is 2 that means 7 7 8 is not divisible by 8 so what does that mean our whole number is not divisible by 8 so for 8 we are looking at the last three digits right divisibility rule of 9 is very much similar to divisibility rule of 3 what is it in 3 what were we doing we were taking all the digits adding them up and we were finding out the result and seeing if that number is divisible by 3 or not in the similar way here also we will add up all the digits and see if that number is divisible by 9 or not okay so let us just try uh, my number is 6 4 5 1 2 so what am I supposed to do 6 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2 how much am I getting 10 15 16 17 18 is 18 a multiple of 9 simple right it is 9 to the 18 so 6 4 5 1 2 is divisible by 9 okay so let us do one more example and get it clear 9 8 9 0 5 5 0 Woo, it's a big number okay let us do 9 plus 8 plus 9 plus 5 plus 5 18 18 plus 10 28 28 plus 8 how much 36 is 36 a multiple of 9 9 fours are 36 so this number is divisible by 9 clear and what is the divisibility rule for 10 guys do I have to say that divisibility rule for 10 any number any number which ends with a zero if at once place you have a zero that means that number is divisible by 10 even if it is 90 even if it is 9999990 anything any number which ends with a zero is divisible by 10 great now comes 11 we have to find the divisibility rule of 11 uh, it's little different from what we did till now okay but not very much different also so let us just go ahead and find out with an example right okay so what is our number mm, 50248 how will I find out if it is divisible by 8 or not, by 11 or not? Two things to keep in mind. First, once you have written this, find out the number which is at odd position. Odd position. First place, second, third, fourth, fifth right this is at second place this is at third this is at fourth and this is at fifth so what is the odd number in this 
1 is odd, 3 is odd and 5 is odd. That means 5, 2 and 8. These numbers are at odd location. Right? We will add them up. 7 plus 8, 15. Keep that in mind. Okay? Now what we have to do? We have to find the sum of the numbers at even positions. Even positions means at second and fourth position. 4 plus 0 is 4. So, I will subtract 15 minus 4. How much will I get? 11. 11 is a multiple of 11. That means this number is divisible by 11. Is that clear? Is that clear? We'll do one more example, right? So let it get it, let us get it very clear. 4, 9, 6, 1. Okay. Now I have four digits, right? So I will just write it in red in small letter. This is first place, second place, third, and fourth position. First, I will take out the numbers at odd position, 1 and 3rd position. So, 1 plus 9 is how much? 10. Then I will go for even position which is 6 plus 4. How much is it? 10. 10 minus 10 gives me 0. If it is 0, then also the number is divisible by 11. So, divisibility rule of 11 is your first step is to take out the digits at odd positions. Find the sum of it. Second step, take out the digits at even position. Find the sum of it and just subtract them. If the result is divisible by 11, that means the number is divisible by 11. If your result is 0, then also the number is divisible by 11. Hope you all enjoyed the session. Had a nice time understanding and doing the questions. If that is so, please do subscribe, like, share and put a feedback in the comment section. See you later.